Hello and welcome to this week's Intuition Insight for week of 5th of February 2024 with me, Ruth Ann Richards. I'm the creator of the Intuition Connection, author of Reclaim Your Intuition. And I believe that when we reclaim, reconnect and deeply listen to our intuition, life becomes easier and we feel more empowered. I also believe that intuition is the communication system with the other worldly, which is why I use oracles and look at signs and symbols. And I use my own oracle, Reclaim Your Intuition, for the intuition insights. So this week's insight is imposter. Now, you may jump straight to imposter syndrome. Am I worthy? Do I deserve? This is not that kind of imposter that we're talking about. I'm going to read directly from the guidebook this week, which I don't often do, but it just so beautifully sums up this other imposter that's not the imposter syndrome. Do you look at your life and question, who is this person? This is not the life I wanted. This is not where I expect it to be at this time in my life. Whether you question this positively or negatively, these beliefs, thoughts and feelings demonstrate to the universe that you feel like an imposter in your own life. Many people have dreams and plans for their life when younger, and it can be shocking, again either in a positive or negative way, when they do not work out the way you wanted or expected. The imposter inside you can prevent you from living an intuitive life. The universe has given you this message to encourage you, once and for all, to leave the imposter behind, so you can reclaim your intuition. The first step is to accept that this is how you feel, to accept the life you have. Acceptance means an end to questioning why all the time. Stop asking why me, or what did I do to deserve this, and learn to live with what you have, for now. The second step is to move to a deeper level of gratitude than you currently have, and to feel gratitude from the heart. Take some quiet time, without interruptions, and consider all aspects of your life and everything you can feel grateful for. If that means you start by being grateful for material things, a roof over your head, or the toast for breakfast, start with that. Make it a daily and regular practice for at least two weeks. Do it more than once a day if that feels right. Notice how your feelings start to change over that time, and how your gratitude deepens. The third step is to ask the universe for help in making the changes in life that you can make to feel more empowered. Feeling empowered is the antidote to feeling the imposter. If the imposter does start to run the show again, use this affirmation to reclaim your intuitive self. I accept. I accept me. I accept my life. I am grateful. I ask for change for my highest good and to feel empowered. I accept. I accept me. I accept my life. I am grateful. I ask for change for my highest good to feel empowered. So do you see this is not about imposter syndrome or do I deserve this? Am I worthy? It's about looking at your life and saying, this is not what I expected or feeling. This is not what I expected where to be. It's not the way I wanted it to work out. You feel like an imposter in your own life. It's not the syndrome. It's not the feelings of um, self-worth, lack of self-worth or lack of deserving. It's just the questioning of, this is not what my plan was and I feel like an imposter in my life. It happens to many people at some points, you know, this isn't just what you expected it to be, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. It means it's right for now. So accepting and practicing gratitude can help you move from those negative feelings and towards a more neutral space and ultimately into a more grateful space. Wishing you a wonderful week, whatever you're doing. We're coming up to the new moon on Friday, which means it's kind of a time of going within again. And particularly as we're coming towards, starting to feel like we're coming towards the end of winter, it's a good time this week to spend some time going within, understanding what you feel, accepting it, asking help from the universe for any change that you need. Wishing you a wonderful, intuitive and soulful week. I'll see you next week. Bye. I have a question for you. How is your soulful winter journey going for you? That time of hibernating, 
of going within. It's a time for reflection. It's a time we spend at home more because the days are so short and dark and we just feel like being at home, curling up on the sofa, maybe with a good book, watching a good movie or box set. But it's also the time when our soul calls to us more to listen to it, to listen to what's going on, to listen to what our heart wants and what we desire. And maybe like me, you've noticed recently that sunrise is starting to be a few minutes earlier and sunset, you know, is getting a few minutes later. And there are these sparks out there. We've had some beautiful weather here of gorgeous blue sky, radiant yellow sunshine, absolutely freezing, but it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful time. But it does make me feel like spring is on the way. There's not many weeks of winter left before we head into spring. Now, before you get excited about spring, please remember that when living seasonally, spring isn't about jumping into action after that soulful winter journey of inner reflection. Spring is time for sowing seeds, for planting and making plans before you go into full-blown action with things in the summer. Summer is the time for action. So to help that transition into spring and to help with the planting of sowing seeds, the seeds of your life, the seeds of your desires, what you want for your life, I'm offering a programme in spring called Spring Awakening. So you can join me and my community for three months, March, April and May, as you transition out of the soulful winter journey and into the spring awakening. It's about awakening your soul, reclaiming your intuition, healing your hurt and to be empowered because ultimately that's why I teach and have a community about intuition, being soulful and spiritual because it makes us empowered and it helps us live our best life and do the things that we truly desire and want to do and that's what we'll be considering in Spring Awakening. So over the three months it will be a mixture of individual support from me and being part of a community. One of the things I've learned from my own experience and of teaching other people to reclaim and connect their intuition is that it works when you have individual support, but you can also be around like-hearted people. And that individual support is important because so many people say to me, where else do I get to have these conversations and who else can I talk to about this? Whether it's intuition, spirituality, you're not sure what you believe about the other world and you want to make sense of it, or there's just something inside you and you don't know what it is and you need help bringing it out, finding it, calling it forward and understanding it. That's what I can help you with. There's no judgment from me. I just help you and guide you to work out what it is that your beliefs are, how you want to reclaim your intuition and what it means to you, because it is different for each of us. The people who have had intuitive mentoring with me are just amazing. They've found a way to reclaim their intuition and feel empowered. And the community part is my intuition circle. It's a group of like-hearted women who are on the path to reclaiming their intuition, embracing it in every part of their life and listening to their soul, listening to their heart and living in a way that truly benefits them and those around them. So it's great to have that one person to talk to, but sometimes you need to be in the company of other people and listen to what they have to say about how they feel and what they're doing to embrace intuition into their life as well. It starts on the 1st of March, finishes on the 31st of May. If you would like more information, you'll find a link with this video to tell you about that. There's information on the website. And if you want to find out if it's for you and to talk to me directly, it's simple. You'll see my email with this video. Email me and say, please, Ruth, can you call me on and give me your number and I will call you to talk about it. But if you're feeling really bold, my phone number will be there as well and you can give me a call to have a chat. I hope this is of interest to you. Let me have any feedback and I hope that I'll be talking to you soon. Take good care. Bye.